Welcome to Range World, the podcast where life, development, leadership, growth, intentionality, and experience come into balance right before your very ears. And now, here's your tour guide into Range World, the president of Get Life in Balance, Rain Kansman. All right, welcome back to Rain's World. And today I have a special guest, Mr. Jerry Hampton. Jerry and I have known each other probably the first time we met was like 1988, I think, uh, working together in a training program. He and I both went to, uh, through a trainer's workshop together. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Uh, he's married to Nancy for 43 years. They have two children and two grandkids, which are the, just the, the thrill of his existence. He's got a BS in management from Oakland University in Rochester, Michigan. He worked for Kroger's and learned a knowledge of food and breaking out of his shy shell, which I would have never guessed he had a shy shell. Went into real estate sales after that and learned to sell and the value of having a positive mental attitude. The, if you look at that truck up on the wall, on the side of it is Cisco. Jerry's very proud of the 40 years that he had at Cisco, successful years at Cisco, where he and I met, doing sales. He was a sales management and training. Yep. So um, I would say Jerry's, uh, he did like 2,000 of Jerry's kids out there that went through his training classes, minimum between Cisco Detroit and where he and I worked a lot together at Midwest Regional Training. Three years ago, he retired, loves traveling, spending time as Papa and just loving it. This is Mr. Jerry Hampton. Welcome, brother. Thanks, Ryan. It's a pleasure to be here today. Oh, man. I'm, I'm excited about this because um, Jerry is a walking billboard for his topic, which we're going to talk about on attitude. Uh, from the very first day uh, I met him, uh, we weren't formally introduced, but in the class, I could just tell um, that he lived and breathed this. And that's 1988. And I, I can tell you, I've, I've worked with him a lot and he's there for this. So tell me about that, Jerry. Why do you feel attitude is an important leadership quality? I'll tell you, Ray. Attitude is an important leadership quality, mm -hmm. first and foremost, because leaders set an example. Yeah. Leaders set the stage for the daily activity, for the nightly activity when the employees are planning or whatever the case may be. You know, you know how folks, when they're at work, they're at work. Yeah. However, their mind wanders. And now they're at home during the work day. But you know, at night, folks' minds wander again yeah. and it comes back to work. Now they've left their families and they're at, they're at work. Mm -hmm. So what is the attitude you want to bestow upon your family when you think about work? Right. Is it positive or is it negative? Mm -hmm. That mental outlook that the employee carries with them day in, day out, and into the evening all starts with the leaders that surround them. Yeah. Are the leaders positive or are the leaders negative? Are the leaders controlling? Are the leaders demanding? Or the leaders set expectations of excellence starting with a positive outcome that is visualized with an anticipation of a positive result, all encompassed by the positive attitude of the leader. That sets the stage for an employee that wants to be around that leader and has great thoughts about them. Gow, oh, very powerful. Very powerful. Again, um, I agree with you 100%. The environment set by that leader 
really permeates the whole team. And that all starts, you have, you have to have it in here in order to put out, you can't fake that. You can't fake that because people read through that. Great, man. So not always easy. I mean, it's, we went through something that you and I have never faced before last year, right? And True. the world, uh, because I think it's so public now, right? So much news, so much information um, that sometimes it's difficult to have that, that positive attitude. So in order to work on that, it's going to take a lot of effort. What are the benefits of a healthy attitude, Jerry? What do you see as that? Well, first and foremost, let's relate it to the last year you just brought up. Yeah. The healthy attitude and the healthy positive attitude is you don't live in fear. Yeah. You live in the real world and you live in reality mm -hmm. and you're cautious, but you're not fearful. Yeah. You and I have seen dozens, maybe hundreds of people over the last year that live in fear, yeah. that live in fright, that live with what might happen to them right. versus the anticipation that all things are going to work out. You take care of yourself, you do the right things, but yet you continue living your life. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, benefit of a positive attitude reign starts with, in my opinion, self-esteem. Yeah. When you have a healthy, positive attitude, mm -hmm. you have a healthy, positive self-esteem. Right. You can't have a great self-esteem and live in woe is me and anticipate the next bad things about to happen to you. Yeah. And I thoroughly believe, Rain, and I have for many, many years, that what goes around comes around. What you put out comes back to you. Yeah. And attitude is a choice. Yep. Now, there are many folks that may be listening to us at this time who won't agree with that. Mm -hmm. You don't understand me. Mm -hmm. You don't understand how I feel. You don't understand my makeup. You can't say attitude's a choice. What I can tell you, as you said in the lead-in, I was the shyest person in the world. Wow. I had trouble talking to people. Mm -hmm. But then I learned. I learned about attitude from my first mentor in business. And he taught me that attitude is a habit. Mm. And I don't know if the days are still right, but if it takes 27 days to make a habit, maybe mm -hmm. it's 28. Mm -hmm. But if it takes 27 days to make a habit, you have to continually think about and be conscious of having a positive attitude for that extended period of time, day after day after day to train your mind. Mm -hmm. Because attitude is a choice, but attitude is also training That's until funny. attitude becomes a habit. And then I can confidently sit here and state to you that this past year, though challenging, I always looked at it with a positive anticipation that in the end, all would work out. You may say that's Pollyanna. No, I say that's attitude and a choice. It's far more healthy for me to live with a smile on my face in anticipation of a brighter day than it is to sit in fear and hide from others because I might catch COVID. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do wow. the right thing and be smart, mm -hmm. but life is a choice. Yeah. And attitude is a choice. So, so really good, uh, Jerry, I, I, um, man, a lot of pieces in there, uh, that you just wove together in that. And I agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Uh, we have a choice in how we look at things. And I used to do an exercise with folks that, you know, when we're negative and we look down our whole vision, like looks down and all we can see, and it gets narrower as we physically look down our vision gets narrower and all we can see is the muck. But if we stand up straight and look out, we have a bigger picture of everything, right? And absolutely, that's still there, but there's the whole rest of the world. I absolutely agree. Let me share with you a piece that was taught to me to start my habit of becoming positive. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, 
understand I'm a slow learner. <laughs> okay. I learned at 24 years old about the value of SNIOP. SNIOP, okay. SNIOP. Okay. SNIOP is an acronym, Rain. Uh -huh. That means do not be susceptible to the negative influences of other people. I learned SNIOP when I was 24 and it was pounded in my brain. Mm. Well, yeah, I said I'm a slow learner. I've been working on habit for 46 years since that point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a, it, it's a continual process until habit becomes part of your makeup, part mm. of your personality, part of your aura. It is not mm. something that happens overnight. Somebody says, oh, I'm going to be positive today. Yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. You're being phony. <laughs> because if you're going to just turn it on and act positive when the rest of your life you <laughs> acted, woe is me, yep. you know, that won't work, then you're just being phony. However, if you habitually work on <laughs> attitude day in and day out, mm -hmm. year in and year out, even for 46 years, yeah. it habitually becomes a part of you. And it allows you to control your thought process and choose, do I want to be positive or do I want to live in a world of negative? Yeah, I love it. I love it. So a uh, fun little uh, plaque I saw one time, it said, uh, might as well not being pessimistic. It wouldn't work anyways. <laughs> So I, I have one more question for you, and you already sure. answered because we learned about SNIA, right? How does someone get started on developing the appropriate attitude to lead? As a leader, you have to be honest with yourself. Okay. As a leader, you have to have an, an awareness of how you come across. Mm -hmm. As a leader, you have to have the ability to say, is this going to maximize my return on investment? Right. Is this going to maximize my team's production? Mm -hmm. Or do I need to make an adjustment in not only how I'm perceived, but how I portray myself to the world? Okay. So being truthful with yourself and open enough with yourself to transition yourself to put yourself in a position to succeed no oh, yeah yeah that is cool that is cool i love it and 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 jerry i i try i, I totally believe and agree in this stuff and i work on it every day um as i go through this one of the things i i still need to work on and I talked about this in another uh, program was uh, not that I need to stop worrying about things I cannot con control. Absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. And that's, that's still a piece I'm working on. Well, you know, the many leaders in this world reign and you were a leader of a large organization and a large group and influenced a lot of people in this world. Mm -hmm. But many leaders have a need to control all details. Many leaders have a need to control every aspect of the day and every aspect of their employees' days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is not positive. I'm sorry, folks. No. That is not positive. No. Free up, realize, control what you can control, yeah. and then adjust based on the results. Like it. A little versatility there. Adaptability and versatility. That's yeah, right. I love that. I love that. So a lot of good information you shared with us today, Jerry, and, and at some point I want to have you back because uh, you and I uh, work together a lot on a communications class that I'd love to have you speak about at some point, okay? <laughs> um, but right now, um, in wrapping this up, I know Jerry has something that uh, I think uh, is very poignant, and I'd love you to share that for us. What uh, I'm going to read something, folks, and it was not my point to read, but it was just some notes I wrote to myself when Rain first approached me to join him today. Let me read to you what 
I wrote to myself in preparation. Ladies and gentlemen, attitude is a choice. And the result of my life is proof. The single greatest challenge to me happened 27 years ago. I had a positive attitude before this occurred. However, during the multiple year challenge, I never gave up and believed in a positive outcome. Frankly, folks, and not to be downhearted, I should be dead or in a nursing home. Instead, I maintain a positive attitude. I did not alienate other people away from me because of a negative, woe is me, look what's happening to me. Instead, I maintained a positive attitude and outlook which brought people to me, people I needed in my life at the time, positive people around me for support. Folks, today I'm retired. Not retired from life, just retired from Cisco. Yeah. Today I live a very satisfying life. I'm surrounded by the love of my wife, my children, my children's spouses, my grandchildren, I am a very, very blessed man. You know, folks, you don't have to be the smartest person. You don't have to be the richest person. You don't have to be the most ruthless person. You don't have to be cruel to other people in order to achieve personal success. But you do have to treat people with dignity you do have to be positive. You do have to maintain a positive attitude. You must, however, and absolutely surround yourself with the best people possible. Mm -hmm. You must see the best in others. You must see the excuse me, positive outcome mm -hmm. and the positive vision. Ignore negative thoughts. Ignore negative people, or at least don't let their negative thoughts creep into your subconscious. Surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with positive situations because you become what you're around. Attitude is a choice. Attitude is an opportunity every day to be the best you can be. But you can't be your best if you're not thinking good thoughts. Wow. Powerful, I wish you the best on all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very powerful, my friend. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I know the listeners and viewers are going to get a lot out of it. Appreciate you, my friend. My friend, be well, continued success, and to all of your viewers, keep making things happen with a positive attitude. Absolutely. I know Jerry well. All right. We'll see you again soon, my friend. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye. Yeah. This has been another leadership lesson from Rain's World. If this kind of learning whets your appetite, leaving you wanting for another helping of this kind of content, Visit me at getlifeandbalance.com.